In my past videos, you've seen me shut down some electronic devices such as cell phones and Game Boys with an EMP generator, and also show you how to make this EMP generator for yourself. And some of you in the comments section wanted to see what would happen if I were to EMP an iPhone. So I got myself an iPhone 5 and decided to test it out. I reconstructed the same EMP generator I used in my past videos and I tested it out to see what would happen. Here's a schematic diagram of the EMP generator I have been using. Take note that I am using a 330 volt 160 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. And here are my results. The iPhone was not affected by the EMP generator at all. This got me thinking on why I was able to shut down other electronic devices but not an iPhone. And so I decided to look and see what was inside the iPhone and I found that there are all these metal plates covering the circuitry. With further research, I found that this is actually called electromagnetic shielding, and the reason these metal plates are here is to shield the device from outside electromagnetic radiation. These metal plates are common in many electronic devices such as this scanner radio and this home security system. But I didn't want to stop here. I constructed a more powerful EMP by increasing the voltage and the capacity of the capacitors to 600 volts at 750 microfarads. And this is what happened. In my experimental setup, I demonstrate that this is a real iPhone and that there is nothing on the iPhone that could possibly alter the experiment. I also show a side angle of the experiment on the lower left hand side of the video so you can see what is happening at a different angle as well as see the voltage on the voltmeter. I open up the clock app on the iPhone and start the stopwatch timer so you can see if there is an effect on the iPhone and see when it happened when the timer started. In my setup, the big black object on the top of the screen is the capacitor bank. To the left are the three disposable camera circuits that charge the capacitors. To the bottom right is my 5 volt lithium polymer battery pack in which I use as a power supply. And coming from the capacitor bank, the circular object on top of the iPhone is the coil. The pulse from the EMP generator was strong enough to have an effect on the iPhone. In fact, the only thing the iPhone did was freeze for a few seconds, then reboot. After the rebooting process, the iPhone was working perfectly. No permanent damage to the device whatsoever. Because of these results, this may answer a frequently asked question, does this permanently destroy electronics? And the quick answer to that is, no. Although you were possibly expecting a different answer, this EMP generator is nothing like nuclear EMPs that you have seen in movies or video games. This EMP is very weak and can only temporarily disable an electronic device. I would like to say thank you very much for watching this video. I would appreciate it a lot if you like and subscribe as it will help me in the future. If you have any questions or comments about the video, put it in the comment section below and I will try to respond as quickly as possible. Also, follow me on Facebook and Instagram.